What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're we'll going over how to get SSR pendants and Grand Crosses, I know a lot of you guys are going to need them for when level 100 drops coming on global on the uh, this coming Tuesday with the anniversary, so let's hop into the video. Before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing. We are on the road to 25k subscribers, man. At the time of recording this video, guys, we hit 21,100 subscribers on the YouTube channel. 900 away from 22k. We can pull it off, guys. We can definitely do it. So, you know, if you guys keep showing the support you've been doing, uh, it's, you know, it's going to keep growing, uh, keep growing for the channel. So, let's hop in and actually talk about the places you can actually get SSR pendants. Before we actually do that though, let's do my fr uh, my free multi on uh, Grand Cross because I, as I said, every day I will be doing my free multi and just add it into, uh, you know, I'm just going to be adding it into whatever video I'm recording for the day. So let's see. Hopefully we can get an SSR real quick. Um, That's a finesse, I think. Yes, sir. That's another finesse. So, uh, so far I've done four multis. I did one gem multi and then the rest are free and I've got nothing so far. So big W's guys. But yeah, let's actually talk about getting us star pendants now, man. First things first is going to be the event Fort Solgris dungeon. So if you go to Fort Solgris, um, if you go to here and then you go to the event dungeon. Um, so this one, the Sarah Spire right here, you can see that as the drop rates or as the drops here, you can actually get SSR pendants, SR and even R pendants as well. So if we actually do this. Um, so let's actually see the uh, drop rates here. So we have a 4% chance of getting an evolution pendant and uh, a way you guys can actually increase your not your odds of getting uh, an SSR pendant but the gauge bar because you guys see here you are able to get SSR pendants through the gauge bar. Um, you can actually go through the tavern here talk to Hawk and you can change the tavern effect to make sure that it is the event one. I don't know if everyone's going to have this. Um, but if you have the Fort Soldiers Event Dungeon Reward Gauge from the uh, Summer Event, um, you should be able to equip this. Um, so you can just press Change Effect. But right now, I'm already on it. So um, if you press Change Effect, you can activate it. But basically, if you go to Fort Solgris and you go to this and you just start skip ticketing this, then you'll be able to get um, some SSR pendants uh, at a, you know, at a, you know, better chance, basically, because you're basically able to uh, force more SSR pendants. So um, what I like to do as well, um, I had a few people comment about this as well. So why do I use this team when I uh, skip ticket? And the reason for that is because um, I have all their Halloween outfits on to get bonuses. So you can see here that I get a bonus Vanya Ale. Uh, I get uh, Awakening Star, and then I also get Anvils just for having the full Halloween sets for these three characters. So then what I do is when I'm skip ticketing like an event like this, let's say, you guys will see here that I do get the drops for a lane, and then I get them for a thing as well. Um, so here we go. Uh, there we go. As you guys can see, um, we did get uh, one SSR pendant, and we didn't even hit the gauge yet. So we did one more skip ticket. So let's see if I have one more event dungeon key here. Let's actually skip one more time and you guys can actually see here that we did get the uh, SSR pendant for filling the bar. So that's one way you can get SSR pendants. Um, let's talk about another way you can actually get them now. So another way would be through like a battle event depending on the day. So right now, uh, this day is not actually for uh, this battle event right now, um, but you know, it is available, uh, you know, if uh, depending on the time basically guys. Um, but yeah, right now it's not available, so uh, you know you can disregard that. Um, but the next place would be through events. So let's talk about like the disaster event. The, disa the disaster event did have them, if I'm not mistaken, on growth. Uh, yeah, they did. You, as you guys can see right here. So they definitely did have them. And then uh, in this event right here, they also had SSR pendants as well. The uh, awesome Hawks treasure event. So we can actually do that. And then I know this one did as well. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, was it this? No. Uh, right here so two ssr pendants so basically guys just go through your events do the event for its ogres and that's basically your main sources of getting ssr pendants let's do this one real quick um just to see if we're able to get um any ssr pendants here let's see man oh i got a special chest off the rip let's see um i think on the raids here you are able to get them okay but i got gems there i'll take the three gems that's a single man um oh and i got a back-to-back -back special chest okay that makes up for yesterday let's see can we get a uh, there we go. As you guys, as I said, man, SSR pendants are available. Only one though, which is kind of, uh, you know, not that good. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, that's basically this event right here. Uh, if we go to the rates, you can probably see here that uh, there are SSR pendants at a 10% rate. Um, so you know, not not the worst thing in the world, but also not the best thing in the world. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be where you can get uh, SSR pendants as well. Hog Pass is another place you can get them as well. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. 
Um, there should be some throat here. Uh, if not through here, then through the exchange, right? Yeah, no, there is one through there. Um, but there should be some through the loyalty shop as well, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, I guess not. They do have uh, uh, SSR tickets, though. Okay. All right, moving past Hog Pass, there's another place you guys can actually get that, and that's going to be your guild boss and your guild itself. So if you go to Knighthood, which I probably have not done in a minute, so I might actually get uh, my Knighthood rewards here. Let's see, man. But uh, what we're going to do, I know right here, perfect. So basically, based on your last week's ranking for your Knighthood, you will be getting an SSR pendant um, if you are in the top percent. Any Anything top 1% or higher, I think you do get a guaranteed SSR pendant um, as well. So uh, yeah, that's going to be one place. And then if you do Guild Boss, which uh, you, know, you can just access through here. If you do Guild Boss and you do the missions here, guys, um, which I've actually not done much uh, Guild Boss. I only did the Hell difficulty. Um, but you can see here that you do get a lot of SSR pendants. You get 4 SSR pendants from hell um if you are able to score and then you get five from or you get one here two three you know you get three ssr pendants from the uh, normal every week so you're basically able to get seven ssr pendants every single week if you do hell difficulty and then your normal hard and extreme to score the amount of points available so that's going to be another place you can be able to get ssr pendants so the final way you guys can get SSR pendants, or like, you know, the few final ways you can get them will be through the World Tree here. The World Tree does have SSR pendants, if I'm not mistaken, yes. They're not at a good amount of price, but they are available as well if you guys do want to get SSR pendants through that way. Um, and then obviously the final place would be um, through inbox through like events. So like, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if uh, Grand Cross had like an event recently that gave, um, was it this? No. Uh, yeah, they didn't have one recently that gave out a uh, SSR pendant, but sometimes they'll do events where they just give them out. And uh, if you're lucky, you definitely can pick one up, man. So uh, that's going to be a place as well. But I'll just claim this uh, SSR pendant and the Nighthoods. Oh, another place actually is going to be through the Nighthood shop itself. I forgot actually about that. Let me go to the tavern here and we'll, I'll show you guys the Nighthood shop. And that's going to be another place you can get them as well. But uh, the thing is, like, a lot of these, like, places where you get them, guys, are kind of expensive, man. I think Netmarble should definitely, like, work to, you know, make them a lot easier, you know, to obtain. Because um, especially with uh, level 100, right? Um, but yeah, you guys can see here, SSR pendants are available. SA coins are also available as well. Um, but it obviously depends. I'd probably, like, recommend if you were buying something from the shop, you'd get, like, these, the foods. But yeah, that's going to be a, another place you can get them. Um, can you get them from the PvP shop? I'm not actually... I don't actually remember if you can. No, you can get SA coins. You can't get the uh, thing. Okay, that's a little unfortunate. So that's fine. But yeah, that's basically all the places I remember off the top of my head, guys, where you are, where you are able to get SSR pendants, man. Um, there probably is like uh, other, you know, things. Maybe like event quests or whatever the case. Like through these like missions, through like maybe your story. You probably do get some SSR pendants throughout the story and stuff as well. Um, but yeah, man, that's basically like the main areas I would recommend you guys can get SSR pendants from. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Let me see you guys the next video. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.